are now checking in with Balls on 95, man. We here. We in uh, Florida, Miami, Miami man. for Glad a very special little, conversation. Listen, man. I'm about to get my little tan after this, man. Yo, hey, man, <laughs> I appreciate you joining us today, man. That yeah, freestyle, yeah, y'all, it's probably y'all already, but that freestyle, you know, reminds me how, um, how special of an artist you are when it comes to these bars. But before all of that, man, how are you doing? Yeah, how you bro? doing? Like, I'm good, how bro. How you doing health wise? How, yeah. How's the family? How's everybody doing, man? How's everything going? I'm good, bro. I'm good. Thank you for asking, bro. That's, that's good. Family to hear. good. You know what I'm saying? Um, pouring into that. Crazy, you know what I'm crazy, and crazy, right, and crazy. Man. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. So it's like um, standing in alignment with the loved ones. You know what yeah. I'm saying? With the passion, with the creativity. Yeah. I always you know like saying? to get that out of the way because I know it's important. We it's so much. You know, life is too short, and there's so much going on nowadays. Yeah, you got to make sure. Health is good, family is good, and I, I'm, I'm happy to hear that, yeah, man. Yeah. Happy to have you join us today. Um, you know, mine is out. Great, great. One, new you, project. You just dropped a new project. You know, um, talk about your process with this new new project that you just dropped. Yeah. You know, Who are you, you speaking want, you want to, to on deep. that? Ooh, um, you know, mind to me was like uh, memories inside never doubt was. Um, it was acronym. You know what I mean yeah. for 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 the mind and um, literally for me it was like. You know, I feel like there's so many like experiences or things that we endure throughout our time. You know what I mean? Whether f- first time we're born, like right, we we get plugged into the matrix, right, and we have all of these experience and ideas, and like we go through all of these hardships. You know what I'm saying? And just um, in, in the process of, uh, process of like learning ourselves. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like so. I think that all of the hardships and all the things that bring us discomfort. You know what I'm saying? Really also brings us like great lessons on the other end of that. So. I think that's what the memories inside really to me is that it's like all of the things that um, that I've endured that made me who I am. You know what I'm saying? And it's and it's all tied in and tangent with the hero's journey. But it's 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 a metaphor for an inner journey. You know what I'm saying? So to me, that's what I want. That was like my intention for even creating Mm -hmm. music was just Mm -hmm. like it's a human story. You know what I mean? As being a black man, seeing what I've seen, and Mm -hmm. it's like being able to speak from that level of just my trauma, things that I've seen, you know, in the hood, things that I've been a part of, things that I might have witnessed or like, you know, heard about. So taking all of these experiences in my mind, you know what I'm saying? And just saying like, you know what, um, that it's, it's like, and showing the totality of who I am, being able to represent, represent yourself in its fullness rather than just like, Little like pieces. like just pieces of right. yourself, you know. So all of those memories allow me to kind of represent myself in a totality way and be open and speak about, you know, my journey as a man, as an artist, right. as a father, as a as a husband and stuff. Right. So yeah. that was really more so the space that I was tapping in. You know what I mean? So, yeah. um, and who I was speaking to really was just um, I think for anybody, man, who's like kind of looking for a sense of like light, mm. you know, a sense of like um. You know, um, just looking for some guidance, man. Just kind of need, because I think it's so much happening in the world right now. I think, you know, we need to be affirmed as black people, as black men, or just like as individuals. You know what I'm saying? Um, It's a lot that we've seen. It's a lot of just inferiority happening. It's a lot going on, you know? So I wanted to be able to speak to the individual that feels like, you know, he might not feel like he's good enough. He might not feel like he's worthy. But it's just a reminder of just that you are worthy, that we go through these experiences. But like, the, the ultimate goal is to be able to rise above them, though, too. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's, deep, that's, that's a, tough. That's, that's tough. a reflective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to be in a really reflective space to even get there and right. then yeah, yeah, yeah. now put the music behind it. Right. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? So that's, yeah. I could tell you really put something into it. And you yeah, do yeah, that bro. with most of your projects. Yeah, most of your but, projects. I was going to yeah. say, you have a, he has an approach where, you know, back in the days we used to, we come from artists being able to put a complete body of work together. Right. And now, I don't know if they got lazy. I don't know yeah. if the inspiration's not there. But you always been good at tapping in and giving us a body of work. Mm-hmm. And the last, even the last album, the one before that, you was always able to tap in. And even in your titles, we came from that. Like, hip-hop comes from yeah. our legends giving them titles. And right. then you could t- dive deep in the titles right. and be like, yo, I see what they did in this. Right, like, Jay-Z's, right, right. Nas's, yeah. they, they would give you these, you know, I don't know if that's the approach you yeah, took. Yeah, yeah. Real know? talk, yeah. yeah. That's the approach, bro. Because to me, it's like, um, you know, quality, bro. Mm-hmm. Quality is important, regardless of what, you know, the world is telling you. I mm-hmm. think that's, that's to me, where, where I always disconnect is because mm-hmm. I think, like, the internet and the condition, you know, conditional world is telling you one thing, right? Mm-hmm. Telling you to be, you know, telling you to, the grind culture, telling you to be on it, mm-hmm. telling you you need to not be resting, you need to always be mm-hmm. working, right? right. Um, you know, and just... You know, kind of telling you, man, just kind of just putting all this in your mind. So for me, telling you, you need to be dropping, um, you know, you need to be dropping every every right. other day, or every like you mean right. constantly right. to keep up with the energy that's happening. I don't believe in that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I believe it's like, 
you know, I, I think about what I want to be. You know, mm-hmm. I ain't trying to be McDonald's. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be on every corner, every street, every mm-hmm. city, every community. Like, I'm not trying to do that. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to be that five-star restaurant that's in Ooh, certain specific niche, cities niche. that's in like yeah, you know what I'm saying niche. like and, and you and you time. right you yeah. know what I mean and, and and it's gonna have certain boundaries you gotta right. it ain't no just show up you gotta make it you know what I mean make right. a reservation that type right, of thing right. it's gonna have an amazing right. food we it. gonna like so this is the platter that I'm laying out for the people it's like right. when you coming over here you're gonna get the best that's you know right. uh, uh metaphorically steak right. the that's best fine. like you know what I mean best yeah. fish the best it's only the best you know what I mean acquired taste yeah acquired taste you know it's not like and everything is uh intentional you know, especially at this particular point in my life, it's like if I'm gonna say something, mm. you know what I mean? I'm in my early 30s, so it's right. like I can't, if I'm gonna do music and say something, like it gotta be, it gotta be meaningful. Mm. It gotta, I gotta be able to push you forward, mm. you know, give you something that you might not didn't know that was in you to be able to bring outside of yourself. Right. Right. Because I think, like, to me, the goal is to return yourself and all that. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I think, like, again, back to going back to that condi- conditioned space and us being in a world to where we like in the matrix, right. for real. You know what right. I'm saying? So, I like to stay outside of that because it helps me like be able to s- still stay sane, still right. stay grounded, you know what I mean, in the world and stuff. So that's the place that I create my music from too. And you got to be able to think clear in those kind of spaces. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I was going to say, do you um, <clears throat> you have that same look in terms of more musically speaking? Like mm-hmm. when they tell you, you got to make this sort of song versus song that you might want to make, you know what I mean? Because you got hits too, but it seems yeah. like at this point, you kind of sticking to your bread and butter and, and how you want to go and, and focusing on the message that you have. So yeah, yeah. Do you ever feel like there's any pressure in terms of, like you said, the conditioned world, right. but how that leaks into your music? Can you yeah. speak to that? Uh, it is. It is a little pressure, you know, because um, I think I have to be mindful to um, also kind of join the world of the dream sometimes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I got to also, like, play in that and I think that's what's so great about this project too is being able to show the duality of it like right, not right. showing that I'm above it you know what I'm saying showing that I can exist in it right. I can exist in it but still be myself within this you know mm-hmm. and not be too caught up in the experience um, so I think I don't know man I think the, the, the journey that I'm on is a real human journey because I think regardless of music you know, music is just what I do. Regardless right. of what we do, us as people, right. I think that those those are things that we got to work through. Right. You know yeah. Like just 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 as people, whether it right. might be our fears, right. whether it might be right. things in relationships, whether it's just a human thing. You right. feel me? Right. So to me, I'm like, if I speak on that level, you gonna always be able to understand and relate, right. as opposed to me just trying to create something that you feel like you would like. Right. But if I speak to you, you know right. what I mean, on a personal level, right. on a real level, right. in the way that you like to hear it. Right. Right. So me, I consider what I do is like spiking the punch. You mm. know what I'm saying? It's mm. like I'm gonna give you what you love in the way that you love it yeah. but I'm gonna just also give you you know yeah, yeah. put my touch and give you a word right. also in that too right, right. so you're gonna be able to hear it and enjoy it, but also know like you're getting that medicine right, so right. that's that shit that's important to me and even even you know as deep as you go with your music and the title and like you you still always manage to remind people yo I could rap you know what I'm saying yeah. that's no the one question. thing with this album like I'm giving you a message <laughs> But keep in mind, like, I got, like, I could yeah. rap. Like, you do yeah. that with all of your albums. And obviously, you take pride in being, you know, a, a, a lyricist, a, a bar spitter, a rapper. Like, you take pride in, I could hear, you know, the you know the other bar spitters, your other counterparts. They, you, you, you're, you're amongst them as one of the guys. Your name has to come up, as, mm-hmm. you know, at some point in the conversation. Mm-hmm. So, I, I seen that in this album. Um, talk to me about your approach when it comes to the bars. You know, you know, just being there, being a lyrical rapper. Yeah. And you know, I know you had uh, Killer Mike. You brought Killer Mike out on this album. Yeah, yeah. He, he got in his bag, man. Hey, bro. He got crazy. His bag. Yeah. I hear Killer Mike. Yo, if y'all ain't hear this album, go, go listen to him, bro. Yeah, 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 bro. Like he brought Killer Mike outside. Like he came with yeah, a verse. Did. You know what I mean? I think a lot of people that. forget you was part of that wave. Right. But those rappers that everybody listening right. to right, right. now, mm-hmm. you was a part of that. Right. Mm-hmm. You was leading it. In a lot of different areas, especially <laughs> with like the flow, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, <clears throat> bro, we, we talking about if we're being honest, bro, like when it comes to Florida, you know, I'm a pioneer mm. in the, in this in this state, That's man. Exciting. You know, I think like even when it comes to flows, styles, you know, I'm I, it's, I'm, un, I'm unmatched. Facts. You know what I'm saying, and um, That's a fact. you know, like uh, you know, rising out of my my previous situation, you know, mm. um. You know, not everybody like that, you know, and I think like like there was a point in time to when I did want to go independent, they kind of try to re- wanted to remove my name from the history books, mm-hmm. of what I've done right. in Florida. You dig right. what I'm saying? Like, so, you know, it, it, it was just on some, um, you know, but um, but for me, I always knew that I um, 
that I had I had the power for real. Right. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Right. And at the end of the day, it's like, you know, I can't let nobody, uh, I can't let nobody narrate my story right. for me. You dig? Right. So that's really what it was about ultimately. It's right. like, okay, just so just so you know, y'all know y'all a little force, but I'm also the boy too. Like, mm. I'm yeah. him. Right. You know what I mean? Like anybody in Florida, like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all already know when it comes to lyricism, y'all can talk about little artists who do this and mm. do that. But when you're talking about the boy and you're talking about the city, mm. It's me, right. you know what I'm saying? You're talking about the state, it's me, because right. in terms of rep representing it, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Representing it in the way it's supposed to be represented, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. um, I think I think that's important, man. And I think, and I watch, I don't, I don't always say anything because I'm an observer, but I see, you know what I'm saying? I see how they try to remove certain things right. and not have yeah. a part right. of it and like, right. you know, um, we but, I'm, but, I'm, but I'm coming back for everything. Right, you know and, and, and I want to add to that because I want, I want the fans and the audience that watch this show, viewers, you gotta understand when you a bar spitter, like when you got when you reach a certain level of spitting, no matter what hip hop does, you can't they can't delete. That's the one thing they can't delete. Right. No matter how it evolves, what it turns into, mm -hmm. the rappers, you can't talk Florida like you just a hater. You can't talk Florida rap. Without mm -hmm. bringing up Ace Hood, I yeah. don't care what beef happening. I don't care what what who don't right. like him. What right. political things is happening? Yeah. This is one thing that you can't even erase. Like mm -hmm. that's one of the things you can't erase. Yeah. You could say whatever you want. You can't say the boy the boy can't rap. Like you cannot right. say that. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. So I say that to say to go back to your point. You can't really you know you can't you can't like disregard what you've done. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And you put you put a, you left a mark where. The other rappers that's up north, east, west coast, mm -hmm. they know they look, East Hood. Yeah, yeah. When they name they come up, they like Florida, facts, and they be facts. like, yeah, they like, even up there in Connecticut and all that. And them yeah, areas, man, like, bro, so much facts, love, so yeah, much facts, love facts, traveling up there. Trust me, I know. Upstate facts. New York and all that. But yeah. that's what, you know, that's my point. It's just like, no matter where, you know, the rappers, when your name come up, they gonna be, oh yeah, he, he could rap. Like, that's not something you can't, no matter what's going on out there, mm -hmm. when his name come up, you, you gotta give him that. You mm -hmm. gotta say you one of those cats. So, and yeah. I can see you fully displayed it on this album, and you always do. And even album. like, bro, too, like, you know, um, sorry to cut you off, but too, it was like, um, you know, like the, the the talent level too. Like, you know, when people heard these records, like I created these records. Mm -hmm. You hear hustle hard, you hear all these records. Yeah. Like I did that. Yeah, 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 I wrote them verses. I did that. I wrote these records. You dig what I'm saying? And it's like. Certain people want to take credit for it, but I did that. Right, me. Right. You feel me? So it's like I'm that same individual. Right. So it's like they could never remove me because I'm him for real. Right. I'm writing these records. Right. I'm the one boom boom. So it's like, ain't nothing they can do with me, dog. Right. Ain't nothing they can do with me. And I think too, part of like um the memories inside and even just going on this hero's journey is to like display. It's to demonstrate too. It's like I'm not gonna talk about it. We're not gonna go crazy. I'm gonna right. demonstrate through yeah. action. Yeah. You know what I mean? That I am the very best at doing it. Right. 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 You know what I mean? And beyond just Florida. Right. Like, you know, um, and and and, and, and you know, I, I we on some liberation, bro. We right. in a liberation space. Right. You know what I'm saying? And we wanna free the people, free ourselves, right. and like that's what we gonna do. And um it, and it's so crazy because we it's literally just a small chip of the ice, bro. Right. Right. Like like I tell everybody, like I've had great things happen in the past, but literally the best has yet to come no, for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm in the best season in the best space mm -hmm. of my life. Right. You dig? So and with the first project, we literally got like it's finna get crazy right mm -hmm. now. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I'm just gonna put it all on display right. just to show people creatively. I'm, I'm right. you know, in terms of writing, I'm, I'm very, I'm very talented at that. Right. You know what I mean, in terms right. of this, I'm very great at right. that. Right. Fitness, we are gonna do that too. Right. In terms of like, we are gonna elevate on all, all levels, levels and we are gonna demonstrate it. You right. feel me? So that's what I'm excited about. Right. And right. I feel like a lot of people don't do that enough. Right. You feel me? That's why I'm Demonstration, one of my favorite, so, favorite yeah. songs up. Yeah, demonstration is a, is a yeah, solid one. On that one. Yeah. yeah. And you're big on that. I think um as a man overall, you know. Not to get too deep on y'all, but as a man, I think you know we we should be re we represent demonstration. That's what our actions should be spoke. It should be through demonstrating right? mm -hmm. what you stand for, yeah. not just what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think that's you know that was an important song. You know what I mean? But yeah. I, I think you speak in that terms a lot in your fitness, and you know if people follow you. I've been a fan for a while, so but people follow you, they would get that from the get go that you stand for that. Like you yeah. know, you stand on what you stand on. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And that's important. You know, even as a hip hop artist, you know, so much negative things you hear about, like rappers do this and they degrade this and that. But you are one of those rappers. It's like nah, nah. Have you listened to Ace Hood? Right. And it's just like he don't give you that kind of. Right. He give you this kind of. Yeah. He's still yeah. a rap, but he gives you right. this kind of. You know, triumph and mm -hmm. glory and you know 
legendary and, right. and our, you know, black kings and he gives you that feel. So I think that's very important in your music and you do a good work. You do a great job at that. I Thank think you, too, right. also, you know, when you're being so real, sometimes you're kind of showing people the mirror, right? Right. So mm. They yeah. hearing you and they, they own shit coming out right. too. Right. So that's what I'm saying. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm going to chill on I'm Ace. Right, right, right. Kind of opening that, some scars. You yeah. Know what I mean? and, so. and, and, and that's to me, like, that's what it's about, bro. You know mm. what I mean? Like, because I had to, the reason how I get to this space is because I took that 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 hard journey, man. Like, mm. it was the un, most uncomfortable journey. I wanted to give up. I was afraid. I was, you know what I mean? I was afraid to look at myself, mm. you know, really come to terms with some of the things that I identify with that I didn't want to. You know what I'm saying? Right. That I'm like, damn, damn, that's a part of my trade. I'm really like that. It's like, mm. all right, bro, you, you know, it's, so it's coming to that realization, you know, and I think for me, um, that's what I want to provoke in the people, right. man, is to also like, because, you know, as I start to change and level up and stuff like right. that, it's also the people around me, that's now they're going to have to look within themselves too. Right. And, 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 you know, how does that make me feel? What does that mean for me too? Right. You know the what I'm saying? Demonstration. Like, the demonstration, right. bro, you know, and I think like, you know, too many people playing, man. I don't play, man. No time to play, bro, and go back and forth about it. Yeah, like, that's why we brought you up. You know what I'm saying, bro? Everybody. Like, I, I just don't, you know, um, I, I, I see things, I observe, right. you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of things I don't respect. Some things right. I respect, you know what right. I'm saying? I kind of, but, um, it, it, you know what I'm saying? It, it is it is what it is, though, yeah. bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, yeah. that's, that's, that's dope to see, man. Um, I want to talk about the independent grind because we we big on that. Like, we're an independently ran platform. You know, when you talk about freestyle platform right now, we're amongst, you know, the top of, top of the, you know, whatever. But um, we come from, like, grassroots. There's no radio stations involved. There's no major brands. Like, we put up our own billboards. We do our own marketing, our own, et cetera, et cetera. And the fact of you coming from, you you seen all aspects of this industry. Like oh yeah, you literally, you were in it from top of the charts to like you've done mixtapes to. That's a great point you said, bro. Right. So that process, you know, yeah. I kind of wanted you to talk about yeah, it because yeah, yeah. I want people to know uh -huh. and elaborate on that. That's like a um, that's a, that's that's like a real gift. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm so grateful too for like my my previous situation and me being in that too. You know, even. Uh, representing that in a different form in a different light right because mm -hmm. naturally we come out of them situations upset and frustrated right, and stuff right. which I experienced some of that but right. never wanted to take that energy out on right, right. you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. because of what we created and what we've done it was beautiful um, but I think like that is a part of like the um it's like, like a superpower somewhere, you know? Mm. It's because I, you know, people also forget that too. I came in the game 19, 18, 19 years old. Right, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm 3'3 three, three right now. So it's like, you know, some people think I'm older than what I am. I'm yeah, like, yo, I'm yeah, still yeah, a young, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And like, I've, I've seen so much, but being in the industry and like seeing how things work in that aspect. Right. And then when I got to the independent level, like, right. so it was so many, I understood both right. ends of the spectrum, that duality of it, you know? So I was, that's how I was able to exist in it. But, yeah. Going to the independent shit was the hardest shit ever. Right, and it's yeah. not easy <clears throat> because not exactly easy. what you just what you just explained yeah. was why it was so tough. Right. Which is why I partly in the beginning of right. had ideas of man, I don't know if I can do this, do bro. Right, right, you right, feel right. me? Because it gets to the point of like you got a team of 30, 40 people on your, you know, right. in a in a major label to you being independent to like now, you know, I've I had got to the point to where I'm leaving a major label to an independent. So I knew that I needed to become something other than what I was. Mm -hmm. People know me for being that, but I couldn't go into this new world, a new space, mm -hmm. and independence with being who I was. Right. It just wouldn't resonate it because you can't work at that level when you're mm -hmm. working at an independent level. Right. It's just different levels, you yeah, feel right. me? So I had to accept where I was. And then as I started having these thoughts of elevating and all of that, it started to challenge the people around me. Right, right, right. You feel me? So once that challenged them, they started to come realization that, you know, they ain't really comfortable with right. facing their fears and right, seeing different right. things and really trying to liberate themselves and right. like, you know. So it was full circle. It was growth. full circle, bro. Yeah. You know, so now I'm looking, I'm in the room, I'm dolo by myself. Right, right. Sheesh. I'm dolo. Yeah, yeah. Just coming from this huge vibe, right, 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 huge right, right, hits. Right, now right, people yeah, wouldn't even know, like, right, right. I'm in the room dolo. Right. Emotional, because I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Right. I don't know what's mm -hmm. going to happen, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, I ain't got no team. Now, now I got, I'm the one, you know, interviewing. People, you know, mm -hmm. interviewing managers and doing right. this. I never thought I'd be doing that in my <laughs> yeah. life because I had everybody doing it for me. Yeah. If I needed a candy bar, my dog gonna go get it from the right. store for me. Right. Mm -hmm. Now I'm in a situation I gotta go get my own candy. Right. Bar. Yeah. You feel me? Like pick out which the, candy bar, and which, yeah, yeah. which vibe. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you know, the, like the the just being able to like have that uh that comfort. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and like losing that too. Mm -hmm. And then I started to learn that the main thing that that really inspired my change was the fact of how much. I couldn't exist on my own outside of the industry. Mm. I couldn't exist as a human being, bro. Mm. Like, I forgot how to be human. 
Mm. I forgot how to go. Like, because I, I be, I'm a star, you know what I mean? Right. I became a star, so right. I'm not going to stores. I'm not going here. I'm not right. going there. I'm paranoid. Right. I'm right. already right. doing right. this boom, right. boom. Right. Like, yeah. but I got to get shit from Target. I got to get shit from... Right. Like, now... I I got, I got, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like things happening. It's like things are changing for me now. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah. In my mind, like right, right. all this stuff is changing, and it's like, but it's just me right. and me. That's when you get mad at yourself. Right. I don't want to do this. Right. Right. I don't want to be on the phone. Da, da, da. Right. I'm too good. I don't want to be going to Target right. and get my stuff. I don't want people to see me. And da, da, da. I don't want, but, but that's when I started realizing, like, oh shit, oh you struggling internally. Mm. Oh okay, you you afraid for people to see you? Like right. okay, you da da da. Okay, you. So outside of just that, I'm like, damn. So it ain't even. I got the success and right. everything and yeah. the money, but yeah. I'm like. Okay, I'm broken down as a person. Right. I'm like a child still. Right, right, right. That's when I went through the transformation. Yeah. And that's when I learned that the internal journey is the most powerful thing for a man or a female to right. do, bro. Right. It's the most powerful thing because it's for you to be able to sit anywhere in life and be able to say, I'm happy. Mm. I'm content. I don't need to move. I don't need to work a job. I don't need to afford. I don't need the outside validation. That's, I'm that's, just like, that's, that's, I can just be. Yeah, and that's, that's the journey I went on to just learning how to just right. be. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's what got me to the space. Right, right. But I've been on that journey for like years. Years, years, years. You talking about meditate? You talking about healing? Right. You talking about traveling, going out in spaces, and right. just being by myself? Right. You know, going sound bowl, healing, everything, right. meditation, yeah, like yeah. healers, everything. Bro. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like yeah. really put myself out there. Yeah. And once I did that, I started to find true happiness in myself and figure out what it is that I like and I love. Right. And that's when I kind of just said, you know what? I started to look at music, people, right. and things differently. Yeah. Yeah. And I start, you know, I want no, no longer part of the dream now. Right, right, I can right. see myself, mm -hmm. which in return of like, oh shit. Oh, they like, oh, damn, they, the world started to look foreign for me, right, right. which is why I started to feel like it was a superpower to me, because right. I'm like, oh, y'all ain't take the scales off your eyes yet, mm. so you can't really see what's see happening, what's happening. Right. with the government, with the right, world, right, right. with the people, with right. friendships, right. with mannerisms, through energy, through right. like, right. you know what I mean? Oh, we ain't paying attention, right. you know what I'm saying? Through language, through right. speech, through what people saying, like, right. reading through the lines, like, right. you know, critical right. thinking, like, right. why do you like this thing? Why do you want it? Right, right, why right. do, you know what I'm saying? Right. That type of shit, I think you know it's it's so important that you display, and you've been doing it. You've been doing it in most of your interviews where people now get to see your growth, right? Because mm -hmm. the 19 year old Ace Hood that we've seen went up to the radio station, and Khaled was there. He got signed. From that to the the 33 year old Ace Hood that's at the maturity stage in his life and still growing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At the point that you are, like I think it's special that your fans and the new people that's jumped onto your bandwagon later on, middle of your years and your 20s and your early 90s. Like, I think it's special for them to see your process. It was a special process. And it was so clear that like, it was almost like everything was out in the open. They, they got a chance to see it. Mm -hmm. They got a chance to see when you when you got on. They got a chance to see your success, number one songs you did, these nominations. And, and then they got a chance to see uh, 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 a hiccup moment or just a growth moment in your career they got a chance to see your re rehab of, of what have happened to you do you build up and you break like they got a chance to see all of it and a lot of times we don't really get to see that and what makes it special is if there's another kid from Broward County or from Florida that's able to sit here and say yo I see what he went through he shares this all the time even you said some stuff in this interview I wish, I hope, like some of y'all really listening yeah, like to real what you like. Advice. Real life yeah. advice. These mm -hmm. are like yeah. from someone that's not talking from a book. He's not telling you from right. he read like it somewhere. Course, yeah, yeah Teaching like this a is seminar. a life. Yeah. This guy went through everything he just went through and he's giving it to you. And then you can, you know, people can follow you online and you, oh, yeah. you're very good at, you know, displaying these things and telling them like, yo, work out. These are my workout methods. This is what I be eating. I think it's special that you, that you were able to capture these moments and display it to the to, to the community or just the hip hop period you know and then there's so many people watching that you may know you may not even know that's why it's important you know we had to come down here to be able to yeah. capture this episode with yeah, you because bro. we know we've been following like we've been fans yeah, for a long time sure. you know yeah, and it's important for us to be able to capture these moments because you have certain things that we want the fans to know yeah. we want the fans to hear from you it's, yeah, it's yeah. big for us and you know how the industry is yeah. now they they so quickly to like push you out. It's no human factor. There's no human yeah, factor. They so quickly to push you out, and we notice that with this show. So we capture certain moments. We see certain thing going on with a certain person. We're like, nah, we gotta make it a point mm -hmm. to catch up with him because yeah, we yeah. we know we come from that. Like we understand what's happening. Right. And we I, I have to make it a point to sit with Ace Hood. I have to. Right. Well, and that's why you know we. 
If we told you what we went through to get to right, get right. this, this yeah. to get to this episode, it'd be crazy. But you know, it's 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 important for me anyway. Yeah. And it was as a it was media outlet, it's important for us. We have people like you up here. You yeah. know what I'm right. saying? I, I think it absolutely. one hand washes the other in the sense. Absolutely, bro. You know absolutely. What I mean? We we give we create a safe space for somebody like you come. Ain't no clickbait. Ain't right. no, we don't do nothing. Yeah. None of that shit. You know what I mean? Your you come man, manager was telling me he's like, yo, how, you know what y'all about to talk? Yeah, I was like, yo, none, yeah. believe me, man. We don't even <laughs> talk about stuff yeah, like that. that. We talk. Right. Nah, I seen the vibe though. Yeah. I was already uh, cause it's a few of the homies too that like, did you know, right, right, that yeah. did the joint too. I see y'all had a uh, surf on here. Appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. We was like, yo, I was telling, I was like, yo, nah, nah, we don't even do that. Like when we when he come up here, we talking rap. I ain't even trying to be in tabloids yeah. myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. We talking rap. That that's what good. he got going yeah. on with him, yeah. you know. We just like to you know, our honest conversation, man. You right. know what I mean? It really is. Right. And what's different too, bro, about this shit, dog, is like, you know, this shit just really just living through me. Mm. You know what I mean? That's like also the thing too is like, you know, I just like get the messages. You know what I'm saying? Like I get the messages from above and it like runs through me. Mm-hmm. You feel me? That's how I feel about it. So it's like not particularly That's, me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a vessel of it. So I also know like I'm everything, but I also know I'm nothing in the mm-hmm. same thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. At the same time. So just like a sort of like consciousness to be able to mm-hmm. bring like, you know, bring some healing and bring better life, a better world for mm. people. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never seen it, but I ain't come from that. I grew up in the hood. Right. You know, my homies and, 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 you know, my mom did what she did. My pops went around. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? My mom worked three jobs, did what she did. You feel me? Hustling, right. doing a thing. So it's like, we ain't come from no wealth, no none of that, no large money, no right. crazy like that. You feel me? Um, So I ain't never see that. You know, when we grew up in a different environment, so, you know, verbal abuse or a lot, right. a lot of shit happening in the right. city and around in the community right. and stuff. So. I want, I want to build this, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's so important to me. Yeah. Even the supporting what y'all got going on too, I think it's, you know, it's beautiful because for me, it's like, I want that. Right. I want my kids, kids, right. kids, kids to be right. straight. You feel me? Right. Like, for sure, bro. Right. Now, sure. I got to ask you, what does it mean to you to be considered a lyricist, or, you know, a with lyricist in this industry or in this in this rap game? What does that mean to you to be considered one of the best lyricists? Like, what does that mean to you? Uh, being a lyricist, uh... I don't know, man. I think that's like uh, <clears throat> I like I'm, I'm like I'm grateful. You know what I'm saying? I think it's dope. It ain't like you win anything for right, it. You right, feel right. me? Uh, <laughs> I ain't too crazy on like names and stuff like that, man. I think it's like um, I, I just I think above all, I want the people to like receive it, get it, and like be able to appreciate the, the music and stuff like yeah. that. But I don't ever get too crazy over titles like that when they right. be like, you know, to me it's just like. I, right, I'm intentional about it, right. so it's kind of like, yeah, I know. I get it. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? I get it. Yeah. For me, I feel like, you know, when you're a lyricist, yeah. it almost bridges the gap for you could get on a track with anybody. Right. Yeah. See what I'm saying? So you you talk about Grammy women, Grammy winners, you know what I mean? Niggas right. in the hood, all of that shit. Mm-hmm. But you could get on a track and they can't say yeah. they can out rap you. Right. Thanks. No matter what their accolades is. So I think. That's the important part about being a lyricist. Right. You mm. jump on the track with Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne goat for mad niggas. Right. You know what I mean? But it's yeah. like, you might have a better verse than it, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Right. So yeah. it's just yeah. like That's I real. Think that's well, it do it do help in that aspect, you know. Yeah. I think uh I'm I, I don't know. Yeah, I do understand that though. I agree with you. Yeah. You know, so Because a lot of people I'm it's telling just, you, this is a Yo, yeah, trophy a, right Ace, we talk me and him go back and forth with my whole staff. We go back and forth. Yo, who had the better verse on this? Yo, who did it out? Yeah. And even some of the songs you did years ago, I remember us saying the remixes, all the remixes Cali used to make when all it was a hundred fifty people left there. <laughs> yeah. And we would sit down like and break it down. Like we would really break it down. Yeah. Yo, who had a better verse? Who really flow went crazy? And we would be like, yo, Luda had it, yo. Ace came in crazy yeah. and it was like we R- big yeah. on that man R.P. the Chinks I remember mean, he jumped on with Chinks man yeah man and, uh, that that was was Chinks New York for us right. yeah. that was crazy. we like yeah. alright Chinks do what yeah. he's doing and he oh, come Ace <laughs> But, yeah. but it told me it told us something about him too, right? Yeah, because yeah. Chinks was newer at the time, right? And I we knew what he was trying to do. Like yeah. we seen the growth. He had the star power. He was he's still growing in his brand. Yeah. Ace being the yeah. Ace that he is, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And being able to say, "Yo, I see what he's doing." I was on the gym uh-huh. playlist. Let's do this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. <laughs> yeah. Um, man, back then I was listening to um, um. I was listening to Big L. I was listening to uh, um, he rap, uh, cannabis. Mm-hmm. Listening to cannabis a lot, bro. Like people who had like lyrics. Eminem, all these people, like 
Yeah, bro, and Fabs, and like, yeah. to me, because it obviously it was always the thing of like down south artists couldn't rap right, and stuff like right, that. So right. me, I always my entire career, bro. Even right. when I jumped in, right. uh, I've always wanted to make a point to show people like, yo, bro, I can, can rap. rap. <laughs> you feel yeah, me? Because yeah, like yeah. the mecca is like New yeah, York and all yeah, that. Right, you feel right, me? Right, Hip hop exactly. goes like yeah. if they accept you, bro. Like right. you solid. Yeah. So for me, even coming in, a part of like my longevity in this game too right. was because places like that accepted me. Um, you feel me? And they right. like New that's York good. and all. I can go right. do shows and be sold out. Bro. Right, right, you feel right, me? right. Because they got so much love for right. me. And right, and that's what that I, lyricism. Shit, and that's bro. what I was talking about yeah, when yeah, I asked yeah. you that question. Yeah, it yeah. comes from that. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I know you have you value you have. There's a sense of value. You Someone's have like you're good everywhere. Type. Yeah, exactly, you're good, you know exactly. You're good, and that's yeah. the energy that I get everywhere that I go. It's like. I can fit into any space, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? In terms of like, shit, you got this, you got that, yo. What we rapping about, what we doing, we can do a singing regular. It's, it's it. and people don't even all fully know that. They yeah. learning that now. Yeah. That's like the project yeah. rollout, but even yeah. more, yeah. you're gonna kind of start to see me take like some leaps of faith about some new records and flows yeah. and energy yeah. that people are gonna be really shocked by. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tap into like a whole new space. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. And yeah. I love it, man. Like I said, we 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 love the journey you've been on. Like we've been, we watched the growth. We love the albums. You know, the only thing we would say is keep them coming. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not yeah. saying keep ru rush them out and put them all out, yeah. but we just say keep it coming. You know what I mean? Because yeah. uh, there's certain rappers, we make a point to get on this show because we want to hear from you. It's not only because we want to hear from you because you're good for the culture. Mm -hmm. it's, it's These rappers are good for the culture. Like, And I think hip hop is, is, is tough sometimes. They have a... Those rappers that are good for the culture... They're not, they're not appreciated as much as I would like for them to. They're right. not being, you know, they're not being put on that pedestal that I would like for them to be put on. And it's like a, almost like a um, a silent victory that no one is celebrating, but you kind of just got to celebrate your own victory, put out your own album, enjoy it the way you enjoy it. You mm -hmm. and your team do your own thing with it. And it's, it's rough seeing that for the guys I, you know, there's so many of the artists we go back and forth like, yo, we got to tap in with him. We got to tap in with him. Yo, right now, like, he's one of the cats that the hip hop needs this right now. Because right. there's so much of this going on. Mm -hmm. Yo, he would disrupt and have this going on. You know what I mean? And this you know how I many people, we, we just talk like, you know how I many people be excited to hear Ace? Freestyle from Ace, before you know what I mean? Did, like, yeah. Before we reached out and hit all of your homies, yeah. Yeah. we had to sit down and be like, who's the This is years like, ago. Ace you know what I mean? Yeah. The like, one when we... everybody want to hear from right now. Yeah. Yeah, that was the time you was yeah. just like, nah, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were <laughs> yeah. in that bag. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. as soon as you got in that bag, it was just like, yo, there you go. He dropped, he, you know, he's about to yeah. drop. Yeah. So it's, it's a good thing always hearing from you, you know. And like I said, me and him, only thing we request, keep him coming. Don't yeah, bro. Him. Yeah. You know? This year going to be exciting, man. Yeah. It's going to be exciting. I'm like approaching musically like differently than I've ever approached it mm. in a year. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's going to be a lot more me this year, you know, in terms of my creativity, my ideas and thoughts and stuff, and even with the new projects and stuff releasing. So the fans are going to get like a real dose in terms of like my vision and where I'm going. I think it's going to be like, oh shit, like, you know what I'm saying? To, to people. So um, we working, man, continue to connect the dots. And I think um, a lot of times too, I have to be patient with the stuff because I am, in, am independent. So it's like, I have to live in all spaces. Right. So like I have to take time to live in the creative space and creating the music and doing all of that and writing it. And then I get in the space of like business. I have to make sure it's clear. I got to make sure the producer's on deck. Everybody getting their point, everybody situated. You know, and then we got to, you know, get 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 videos and content and all of that. And, you know, so it's it's a lot that goes into it, you know. Um, and uh, yeah, man. Yeah. So we gonna celebrate ourselves a lot more this right, year and just right. keep going, man. My wife tell me that all the time because she used to be seeing me working right. and I never like sometimes stop and say, all right, let's celebrate this vibe because yeah. I just be playing, wearing so many hats and right. I'm just sometimes get a little serious, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Um, but I mean, I'm really just excited, bro. And I think like, we, we gonna shock the world, man. Like simple and plain, like, you know, um, I know they ain't see it coming, man. And it's, uh, you know, but yeah, but but we finna we finna make it do what it do, bro. On, like real facts, bro. Keep them keep them coming, man. Your yeah. mind mind is out right now. You yes, know, sir. go get that. Go get that. You know, um, if there's anything before we sign off, you want to leave for the fans? Cause listen, I could tell you right now, I could talk to him, or we could be up here talking for hours. I know he got things to do, and we gotta you know we gotta adjust some things. But mm -hmm. there's anything you can leave with the fans and let the fans know your fans, um. Our fans, you know, the young the young kid from Florida that's coming up right now that was in your you that was you was once there before in their shoes. Anything mm -hmm. you could leave for them before we check off, you know, please be uh be our guest. Uh I would say don't be afraid to take the uh don't be afraid to take the long route, man. 
You know, I think everybody nowadays want instant gratification. You know, nobody don't really want to build anything that's long lasting. Mm -hmm. You know, I think also I want to be, I would like to be a representation.